Now that we're into July, I just wanted to put together my thoughts and experiences from June's 30 Days Wild. If you don't know what that's all about, 30 Days Wild is the Wildlife Trust's annual challenge where they ask everyone to do one wild thing a day throughout the month of June and has become something I look forward to every summer. Last year, I decided to produce a watercolour painting every day of whatever wild thing I encountered that inspired me the most. And this year, I decided to concentrate on exploring the senses that connect us to the wild world. Connecting with nature isn't just going for a hike or spotting something through binoculars, though that's a great place to start. To me, connecting to nature involves tuning in to every sensation we have available. The feeling of the wind, sun or rain on your skin It's the freshness of the air, or anything else that's carried in with it. In our busy lives, it's too easy to forget that we are creatures on this planet like any others. We have instincts and senses that work with our environment to help us survive and thrive. Our fingertips have more than 3,000 touch receptors, and so do our toes. We can also sense minute changes in air pressure and temperature. Have you ever noticed the heavy feeling when rain is on the way? So each day I made a point to simply experience the world around me. I dialed in to layer upon layer of songbirds twittering amongst rustling leaves. The change in tone as a bee lands on a flower. I discovered the crackle and pop of the tide leaving rock pools. And I lay on a darkening heath and heard alien sounds I'd never heard before. The variety of greens in the field never fails to amaze. Or the sparks of colour of tiny meadow flowers in between what at first glance is purely grass. And there's something blissful about sunlight winking through the canopy or from the surface of rippling water. And as a forager, I also enjoyed the multitude of intense flavours the natural world offers up, if you know where to look. follow me on Facebook and Instagram, I hope you enjoyed seeing the snippets and daily musings of my 30-day wild journey. And I highly suggest you put it on your calendar immediately to take part yourself next year. Or just subscribe, as I'll certainly be doing it again. I feel retuned and ready for whatever wildness the rest of the seasons have in store. Thank you for joining me, and until next time, stay inspired!